gentlemen, and first off, I want to say what an esteemed honor and pleasure it is to be asked to come here this evening and speak about my dear friend Joe. I first met Joe in 1971 in Toronto, Ontario, Canada, when he came to fight Wally Slokey, who, by the way, Walt, uh, Joe sends his best regards and best wishes, as does Emil Farkas, Chuck Merriman, and Isaac Florentine for his speedy and healthy recovery. But anyway, I was, like usual today, I was out selling DVDs. I was selling equipment. The, those days there wasn't DVDs. I had books and I had shit pads and I had belts and things like that I was selling. All of a sudden I seen this gentleman or this man walking towards me who had this blonde hair that looked like a French poodle. <laughs> and I looked at him and I said, what the heck is that? And I said, that's Joe Lewis, the legend. He's walking this way. And as he walked this way, I walked, looked at him, and he walked right up to my table. And I, this is the truth. He had on a white blouse, or not blouse, a shirt, <laughs> that, that had puffy sleeves, right? like a pirate. Right? He had on white pants, and the pants were intentionally three inches too short so that he could show off his white patent leather, half boom shoes that he had to wear. Then, as you look up, you see Joe, and not only is he wearing this white shirt, but it's undone down to his belly button. And, and he had this great big gold medallion hanging off of his chest. And I just thought, oh, Mom, what a character is Anyway, he walks up to my table and he says, so uh, in this swagger and confidence or attitude that we've all known to come and love, he goes, so um, what you selling here? And I, I looked at him and I said, uh, yellow belt, sir, did you want to buy one? Right? And he wasn't impressed. <laughs> he looked at me and he went, uh, nah. Nah, back. And that's all it was. He left, right? And then he went about his business of knocking Wally Slokey out that evening, and um, went back to where he came from. But we all know Joe's prowess and his fighting abilities. But I just want to say, I don't think that's his biggest accomplishment. I think his biggest accomplishment are you folks. He's taught you honor, integrity, loyalty. These are traditional values, and although Joe may not teach traditional oriental martial arts, he does teach traditional values. And you folks are his legacy. You folks are the people who carry on his name. And Joe, thank you very, very much for your friendship over the years. It means the world to me.